Welcome. Today I am watching a mirror match of goals between Feldfeld and Bakara, and somehow winning this thing seems, seems to be uh, you have to be quicker than the other guy, or you are doing different strategies when you follow things up. It's like this one. Uh, seems to be when we look when we are looking at the food sources, Feldfeld has one one patch and Dagara has a similar patch so this is going to be a rather similar similarly laid, laid out match so it's very obvious that things will be uh, depending on the skill and the speed of the, each players this is going to be a war of faster clicks because you know people will be doing similar strategies and we can see here that it seems that Feldfeld is doing a batch of two, but I think it's actually one because, yeah, similar for Dakara, he's going for three batches, but I think it, every player has already set up their, their batches of one because there is no real most efficient batch standard, so they're just, they're just using one and they're going to be uh, producing units the way they want. And early house, farmstead, and Let's see. Ten wood gatherers. Six wood gatherers. Make that twelve. Twelve wood gatherers for Feldfeld and Dakara has. Let's see. A storehouse. I think this storehouse placement is actually wrong. This is going to be a little bit of a difference in the build order now for Feldfeld and Dakara where. Feldfeld, I think, has the more advantage for surveying around the map, I think. Yeah, he has a better grasp of his own map. He knows where things should lie down. And I will not excuse Dakara for playing a storehouse here when he has two. Or even, you know, that's a food patch. And he knows that, see? It's cost him so much wood with that extra storehouse building. Okay, and that means Dakar is actually a little late on building his next house, so by the end result, Feldfeld is obviously ahead by pop, even by a margin of 2, but this one, oh, so the food patch is here, let's see how, how much difference uh, Feldfeld can actually gain from those trees, nah, still quite even, there's one here, another one here, Okay, and everybody's still going for their economies. Uh, 18 wood gatherers. How many food gatherers do we have? Where are. Okay, so he's actually scouting now. Uh, let's see, he's dark on his vision. Yep, he's using his scout now. What, Feldfeld? Not yet. Still not. Still busy with that. He's still busy with food gathering. Now this is going to be another difference if you want to prioritize food first because you generally know where the, the enemy is and I don't think felt for this uh, or if you're going to survey the map it's mostly about getting the next f resources it's like this one so Dakara has seen his other extended metal mines and more sources of trees if actually he needs them felt felt now begins his scouting I, yeah i think he's using it to scout now and it's more of a direct approach it's more of an offensive type of scouting he's going to check out where his enemy is so maybe he's going for a certain rush and he is going for the naked fanatic rush i guess and yep it's practically sure we have 11 metal miners six women five men and hardly any food supply right Maybe that explains his... You, where are your food gatherers? Nothing. So I think he's going to be rushing. And this is going to be another difference. Where Dakar is actually ahead by population for now. But he's behind the... Okay, so Feldfeld has already scouted. If you can actually observe Feldfeld's build order and mine this is actually how you do the naked fanatic rush okay only a few food gatherers 
3 at best or 4, 4 or 5. Uh, in other words, the ones that you have used at the beginning, the 5 or 10 food gatherers, you're going to use them for a, a little bit of extra. And here comes our first naked fanatics. And actually, oh, yeah, he's still surveying. How much Felfel knows? Yeah, he's still looking for that weakness. Still work, looking out for weak spots. And this one, he's, this is a potential weak spot, but he's going to find out where the real long camp is and where these naked fanatics will go or potentially have their a little bit of feasting and since Dakara doesn't know what Feldfeld is going to do as a strategy and yeah see barracks versus snake uh, tavern and who here comes an entry very few defenders and here comes another naked fanatic going he's pumping out the units okay it's yeah, he's going to use them and... Oh, oh. Okay, so this is where the population difference will shrink into Felfel's favor because what we can see here is that Dakar is only ahead by population because of the women. Women. And Feldfeld... Yeah, he does have women too, but... He's actually gaining men in his defense. No, he doesn't have a defense either. So if Dakara finds that out, a counterattack will be set in play. But I, at least Dakara is containing the attack with some sentry towers here and there. He's very quick to build. But Feltal is moving around everywhere. And group one, group two, and another group here is, and. Yeah, because of those idle fanatics, you can see how it's very difficult to manage three groups. And I favor only two. Only two for the attack, and the other... I mean, the first group for the attack, and the other group for distracting the enemy. And I think he already lost that other scout, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway. So Feldfeld used is using all of his naked fanatics as a single group and he's still producing more of course he's not going to use his metal to get up to town or city phase this is the I think I'm yeah okay let's tap that in how many naked fanatics does he have still it's five five naked fanatics still producing some out here and Delay, uh, no, it's not del necessarily delaying Dakar's economy, it's just he's distracting. So, this is going to be a question of can Dakara hold this attack out? And judging by his defense, I think he can do it. I think he can do it. His sentry towers are here, sentry towers are here. Either that or Felton will just continue to keep pressuring him, keep wasting his opponent's time against the economy but Dakara is slowly building up strengthening his his base and he he won't care about the attacks anymore it's just only a matter of time that they will succumb to the arrows of the sentry towers that is if Feldfeld can't reproduce more than he is losing and Dakara is Dakar's goal is actually to get to city phase, I guess. Produce more units, but he can't even get past town phase. Okay, so, uh, it's actually understandable. He's spending wood after all. He's spending all that valuable wood to get. But he's supposed to be getting food, man. Okay, so this is where the bottleneck comes up. If Feldfeld can actually uh, deny him his food, Maybe Daka uh, or maybe Felford can actually win this one. But assuming that, I think Felford doesn't actually know. Okay, heavily defended. What? What's this? Oh, loyalty. I thought that was the house. Sorry, guys. Okay. So Felford, a little bit of under pressure, and Dakara seems to have smelt blood. <laughs> Let's see, he still doesn't know, he still doesn't know what Feldfeld's base looks like and I think it's one of his uh, a potential disadvantage but now that he's going to do a, a little bit of counter-attack 
it's actually good. Now Feldfeld is, uh, is going to be forced to be on the defensive side. He's still producing units, right? Not anymore. Yeah, he still has some food sources. That means, okay, forcing idle time. That's not good for, well, side of, I don't know. Feldfeld's on the attack. This is going to fail. So Feldfeld's main attacking force should, oh, oh, now a little bit of movement here. That means Feldfeld is using once again his all his all his units on the attack without caring much for the defense because he has he has no towers. All women, only a few men, two men to protect all women, and I think he plans to finish Dakar off. And it's only it's a, and no, it's not really obvious, but because of. Dakar is food shortage, he can't actually build any more units. He's forced to, and he's running out of wood. He's running out of wood. I think he's not going to be defending. Once all of his units are, or Dakar's units are being eliminated, he can't reproduce anymore. And two skirmishers, nice try, I think. Not when you have, you have all the pop that you have, no. The population uh, spike dropped. <laughs> no more. I think this is going. To, this is done. This is done. A lot of wood there. Oh, look at that! Our wood supply. He can build a lot of things, but can't really train more units. And now Feldfeld has taken over Dakar's sentry towers. And I think, I, oh, very good move there. Very good move. It's better to delete your own towers than allow your enemy to capture it. And, <laughs> he's, just, he's running away. He's running away. And this time, next tower comes up. Next tower goes down. And more pressure. More pressure. He's slowly gaining food, but at what expense? Only to try and train more units. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. And this is and this full-on attack. I, uh, maybe. Feldfeld smelled blood also when, when he was uh, using all his citizen soldiers and his naked fanatics to pour on the attack. So that was, that was a missed attack by Dakara. Feldfeld took the initiative, rushing all together, wasting his wood, making trying to make him spend all his food and wood. And by the time Dakara ran out of food because he had no food gatherers. He couldn't gather food here, he was pressured out. Not uh, everything went, is going downhill. <laughs> okay. And this thing. Okay. Dakar resigns. Okay, so you can actually do the naked fanatic rush. If you're quick enough. And just look, <laughs> this is a difference of 300 rating. So I think it's actually in the right place, right? So that's the game. We have a total score of 2017, 18. Military score, yeah, he, he has more, had more military units. Economy, hmm, you would actually think because of all of that defending that Dakara had more economy score, but because Feldfeld was attacking and Dakara was forced on the defense while Feldfeld's base was still very safe from the attacks. His economy was booming while Dakaraz was forced to defend. So he was wasting time with that. So if you think that attacking with something in town phase, you're actually losing time, not gathering resources, and that's not really necessarily true. Okay, how's this? Slight difference, economic buildings, Dakar has built more because I think he's lost more. No, I think this is more of the storehouse problem. Military buildings, he has built two. Two? Dakar has built two? Barracks and what? Maybe two barracks. I didn't actually see it. Units produced. Yeah, more attackers against defenders. But he, uh, Dakar had more women. Lost a lot of women. Yeah. Compared to the infantry, yeah, 
but has built champions. Only one champion had died. Oh, two. Two champions had died. But Takara has only managed to kill one. And anyway, the loss was too minimal. And even losing. What's this? Killed. Lost. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the scout. <laughs> okay. There's some offensive scouting. Resources. I can't really. This is just too huge for me. Okay, calculation. Uh, market. Well, the one use the market because it's time phase kill death ratio. This is a yeah. Vegetation ratio. He had a lot of farms or fields, but nothing. Okay. So total score. It was a. He was run over. Dakar was run over by the time he attacked. Everything was uh, quite even at the beginning of the game but once he no this is more of a Feldfeld Feld was gathering resources much faster and because the military score yeah everything was also even until um, because he was actually behind the economy let's see he was behind the economy by a slight margin yeah he was get gathering wood I guess this is more of gathering more wood than Let's see, gathered wood. He was gathering more wood than food. Uh, resources. Food. I don't think this was, it's quite even though. Let's see how much food he has gathered. How about spent? They were roughly using the same food and wood, so how did. He was bottleneck, right? Dakar was bottleneck in the food section because he was producing units and gathering food. Um, everything was increased. Okay, so the disadvantage here is that uh, because the naked fanatics don't need f uh, food, uh, Feldfeld's food supply was actually not in shortage. It wasn't falling short of food supply. And so he can produce men and naked fanatics at the same time while uh, Dakara was forced to spend all his food and being negated to check up to town phase and that's where uh, he was forced to build farms and he was also his all of his trees were running out and uh, maybe it was also a very good time for Felt felt to use all of his units by this. Okay, let's let's look at the score, 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 military score. This is where he was. Uh, I think this is the time that he he attacked with all of his units, right? That's where everything fell. Everything fell to fell fell. Okay, so this is the naked fanatic rush versus a normal build order for the gulls okay. and i think this is going to be a good lesson for you guys uh i'm going to link to the game for you guys to study feldfeld's build order that is if i can actually find it uh, i'll try i'll try i'll try um, but i'll guys i'll see you guys in the next video